Um, let's see. Go ahead and lay down on your back. We'll start. It's always a great place. <laughs> <laughs> Love to start on our backs. Ah. Good. Once you get there, take a nice full inhale. And then let it go. Allow yourself to come into the space onto your mat. Allow yourself to try to become more present with every passing moment here. Taking a full inhale here. And let it go. Scan over the body physically, acknowledge where you are, notice any tightness, tension, any areas of concern, injury, fatigue. But on the flip side, notice those areas that are feeling a little bit more open, ready to respond, ready to go well, a little bit deeper if that pose so presents itself. Today we're going to be getting into the hips, the five compartments of the hips. So we're going to go all compassing with our hips, outer, inner, front, back, a little bit of core, using all of those different areas. Be mindful of those areas, checking in with those areas, going slowly at the beginning, it will progress, getting a little bit deeper and deeper, finding some strength at the beginning, and then some nice stretchy holds toward the end. Nice full inhale here. Let it go. Check in mentally, emotionally, acknowledging what type of day it's been. Notice what thoughts and emotions bubble up from the day. See if you can one by one detach from those emotions. Just acknowledge the thoughts and allow them to float on by as if they're clouds on a breezy day. Rare here in Saudi Arabia. Imagine. <laughs> Remember, there's no woods position. It's just making sure you feel good in your body, honoring your body. Going to the edge of your limits. Trying not to go over the head. Full inhale here. And let it go. Start to lengthen and deepen your breath here. Inhales and exhales, going to about a count of three, maybe a count of four. Slowing it down, allowing that belly and chest to expand on each inhale. And then draw back to the ground on your exhale. Maybe can you can even start to breathe so you feel your low back, your back ribs press into the mat as you inhale. And as you exhale, maybe feel a little bit more of that low curve in your low back. Two more rounds of breath here. You start to settle in on an intention today. Maybe the intention is to feel good, be present, or just to notice. Holding that image, that intention in your mind's eye, and allow one hand to come to your heart, one hand to your belly. We'll set that intention as we open the practice together with an OM or a sigh of the breath. Exhale, fully here. Inhale. And on your next inhale, take those arms back overhead as you bend your knees if they're not bent already. And as you exhale, bring the feet at least the distance of your mouth. Inhale, 
inhale, fold. Inhale, all the way back over the left. Keep reaching the arms back. Keep sending that right hip up. Exhale. As you inhale, all the way over to the right. Exhale, there. Good. One more time over to the left. Pause. All the way over to the right. And pause. Good. Rolling all the way over onto your right side. Move your right arm in the pillow. <laughs> your knees back your ankles and make sure your knees are bent. Take that left arm out in front of your face. On your inhale, open up. As you exhale, draw back over to the right. Inhale, open up into a twist. Exhale, back over to the right. This time to hold. Inhale, opens you up. As you exhale, take that right arm, press it down on top of that left thigh. Take the tailbone to your heels. And really open up the chest. Full inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, bring yourself all the way back over to the right. Exhale, bring those knees back up to center. Pause there for a moment. Take an inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, take both knees and roll them over to your left side. Good, stack knees, stack ankles. Take that right arm, reach it to the left. As you inhale, open up the chest to the right. As you exhale, draw it back to the left. Inhale, opens you back up. Exhale to the left. This time to hold, inhale, open yourself up. And exhale, pause there. Maybe take that left hand, press it down on top of that right back. Draw the right hip away from the right shoulder. Through those right fingers. A little active stretch here. Exhale, pull. As you inhale, take that right arm all the way back over to the left. And as you exhale, bring those knees back up to the center. Good. Pause there for a moment. And on your next inhale, drop both knees into the chest. As you exhale, curl the spine up toward those knees. Forehead towards me. As you inhale, lengthen the left leg out, hover it above the ground. And then exhale, switch. Take an inhale. Exhale, switch. Take an inhale. Exhale, switch. Take an inhale. Exhale, switch. Good. As you inhale, draw the left knee in. As you exhale, round a little bit forward. Inhale, releases the head down. Exhale, release the head down. Good. Take a moment there. Full inhale. And exhale. Taking that right leg, lift it up to the side. Big inhale. Spread through the toes. As you exhale, point the toes. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Use a little bit of core here so you're not holding on to your leg. You're pushing through your leg using active muscles here to keep the leg up. And then taking that right ankle over your left. But send the right knee away from you. Pause there. Hands stay by your side. On your inhale, draw your knees to your chest. Exhale, draw the knees away. Inhale, draw them in. Exhale, away. One more time. Inhale, in. And pause there. Try not to use your hands. Send that right hip a little bit further forward. Resist leg and foot. Take another inhale. Exhale. Good. As you inhale, release that left foot. Exhale, take that right leg up to the side. Good. Take an inhale there. And then exhale, right foot to the side. Inhale, take that left leg up to the side. Pause there. Push up through the heel. Take an inhale. Exhale, close. Inhale, close. Exhale, point. Exhale. As you inhale, wrap that ankle to the right knee. Send that left knee forward. Exhale there. On your inhale, draw the knees towards the chest. As you exhale, release that out. Hover that bottom foot. Inhale, draw some in. So a little forward still. Exhale, draw some away. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. 
belly away. This time to hold. Inhale, draws that knee in. Holding here, try not to use your arms. Let the legs do the work. One more full inhale. And as you exhale, release that right foot down. Take that left foot back up to the side. Pause there for a full inhale. And exhale, pull. Good, hug those knees in your chest in a little squeeze. And then your choice, roll to one side to press yourself up or rock and roll all the way up, coming all the way to your hands. And once you're there, find a few rounds of cat-cow. If you're on the, the graph, you might need to find a space for your hands to be equal, or even. And as you inhale, lengthen. Inhale, find some flat back. And as you exhale, roll all the way to the foot. Find your belly. Then reach those arms back, reach the toes back. As you inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, cover the hips. If it feels okay, cover the hips. Full back engagement on the back side. One more full inhale here. And as you exhale, release it down. Turn your head to one side. Pause there for a moment. Relax everything. And then coming back to center. Bringing those hands by your side. Press down into the toes. Inhale, roll to the back. Just a little baby. Maybe such a little baby. Pull where you can cover your face. You're reaching through the toes. Another inhale. Exhale, release the hands back from your head the opposite way. Pause it. And those elbows under the shoulders. Press face forward. Press down into those elbows, lengthen through the toes, and then lift the chest. And now imagine dragging yourself forward. So elbows come back toward hips. Heart comes toward your hands. Top of the head to the back. Now engage the legs. Spread the Press into the hands, make the elbows wide on your inhale, and then exhale, release it. Hands by your side, press the toes with the inhale, exhale, press back knees, hips to heels, find child's pose. I'm going to check in here, we'll come back to child's pose at the end. Kind of notice how your body feels here. Eyes <clears throat> full, deep inhales and exhales. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, tuck those toes, find downward facing dog. Couple deep breaths and downward dog. Just kind of pedal the feet, shift the hips, kind of check in. We're going to go through this next sequence three times. We're just going to kind of progressively add on to it. Couple more breaths and downward dog. Exhale, fully there. As you inhale, take your right leg up to the side. Exhale, heel jump, open up. Look under that right armpit. Take another inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward as you straighten the leg. Exhale, draw knee to nose and step that foot forward. Then let the back knee come down. Good. As you inhale, sweep those arms. And instead of letting those hips be heavy and low, shift them back so that front leg can straight a little bit and then lengthen the tailbone to that bottom knee. Then press into the tuck toe of the back foot and then lengthen up to the side. Beautiful inhale. Here. And then as you exhale, hands down. So straighten the back leg on your inhale. Exhale, step it back and down the back. Good. Full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left leg reaches to the sky. Exhale, heel to bum, open it up. Pause there as you inhale again, lift the knee higher. Exhale. Inhale, lengthens the leg out as you look forward. Exhale, draw knee to nose and step it forward. Good, back knee is going to come down. Little shorter stance, tuck your back toe. And then inhale, bring those arms up. 
but shift the hips back a little bit, tailbone lengthens that bottom heel, so you feel that nice stretch along the whole quad, and then lengthen up the inside. All inhale, exhale. Inhale, hands to the floor. Exhale, straighten the back leg. Take an inhale, step the back. Exhale, find down the back. Full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, takes the right leg back up to the side. Exhale, heel up over the hip. Then inhale, lengthens the leg back out. Exhale, draw knee to nose and step the foot forward. The back knee's gonna come down. Same pose we did before. Inhale, reach up, shift the hips back slightly to really get into that front quad. We're gonna take another inhale. But as you inhale, wiggle that front foot forward a little bit and then let the hips get heavier. Good, maybe hands stay high, maybe they go to your thigh, maybe that foot walks out to the side. Keeping those hips heavy and low. If you can guess it, we're working on the front part of our hip right now. It's all of our hip flexors in our quad biceps. Good, two more breaths here. Forward. As you inhale, bring those hands down. Exhale, straighten the back leg. Inhale, step to back. Downward facing back. Full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, takes the left leg up to the side. Exhale, heels bump, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knees to nose. And step up here. Back knee comes down. Back toe is tucked. As you inhale, shift those arms up. Good, exhale, shift your hips back slightly. Find that little front quadricep stretch down towards the knee. Good, find length in the spine. And then on your next exhale, swiggle that foot forward a little bit and then let those hips down. Any little bit. As you do, imagine back heel and, or sorry, back knee and front heel are drawing toward one another. Another inhale here. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the Inhale, back leg straight. Exhale, downward facing up. Good. Take a full inhale. Exhale, adding on a little bit more. Inhale, takes that right leg up to the side. Exhale, heel to bump, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose and step it slowly. Sit back knee down, bring your block with you. So you have it on one side. Tuck the toe, inhale, bring your arms up. So that block's gonna go on your right side. Inhale, the belly lift and up. Awesome. Full inhale here. And then as you exhale, wiggle that front foot forward, get heavy and low. Maybe arms come back. Behind you, give your arms just a little stretch here for a moment. And then inhale, sweep those arms back up, shift the way back just a little bit. And then exhale, take that right hand down to the block, whatever level of fitness you do, and press your hand into that block as you lean forward. So it's get something to press into, lift and rotate that shoulder up so you're getting into the top part of your hip flexors here. Sometimes those hip flexors even attach to the back part of your spine there. So that feels good. Inhale, bring this full arm back up. And as you exhale, take that block, move it forward. Inhale, straighten to the back leg. Exhale, find down the back. Full inhale there. Exhale. Left side, inhale, takes that left leg to the side. Exhale, heel to bum, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose and step it forward. Back knee comes down. Bring that block, put it on the left side of your body. And then inhale, sweep those arms up. Good. Shift the hips back just slightly. Lengthen up to the side. Good. And then let those hips get heavy and low. Wiggle that front foot forward a little bit. Keep engaging in the leg. Maybe hands come back behind you, and you like those fingers open up. If that doesn't feel good for your hands, maybe hands on your low back. Other inhale, here. Exhale. 
Inhale, takes the arms up, shift the weight back slightly. And then exhale, left hand comes down to that block. Find that height that's good for you. And then lean into the block as you reach that right arm overhead. Good, keep pressing into that right leg. Then that right hip to the side. Good, one more full inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, sweep both arms up. As you exhale, Inhale, straight into the back leg. Exhale, find down the toes. You have the option here. You can go straight to child's pose. You can follow me in a vinyasa. Inhale, rolls yourself forward to plank. Exhale, lower into your toes. And stay by your side. Ground the toes. Inhale, find a little cobra. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes. Take an inhale. Exhale, press back. Child's pose. Take a full inhale in child's pose. Exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, press back down. Lift the chest. Then getting into our second compartment here, our hamstrings. Press down into those heels. Imagine dragging your heels away from you and toward the back of your mat. Turn on those hamstrings. Press into the hands. Drop up through the low belly. So turning on those hamstrings for the back of the legs. Exhale, fold. Inhale, takes that right leg up to the sky. Exhale, pause there. Make sure all five toes point to the ground. So use your hamstring and your glutes to lift your leg. Then take another inhale. Exhale, draw knee to nose. And step it forward. Then take that back foot, step it in slightly. And maybe a little bit out toward the side. Yeah, out to the side. Yeah. Good. So that both legs can go straight. So you might need to have your balance, depending on. You want to straighten that front leg, so depending on that hamstring. And then lengthen the chest forward. That left hip likes to stay back. See if you can roll that left hip forward. You definitely need to do your hamstring with this. And for some people that feel like they need a little bit more conversation with their calves, you can start to draw your toes back. Draw your left hip forward, right hip back, arch forward. Another inhale. And as you inhale, foot down. As you exhale, bend into that front knee, shift your weight forward, walk the blocks or hands forward, and then straighten the back leg up to your calf. Good standing splits. So you can stay here, work on the hamstring stretch, and fold forward over that front leg, or you can work a little bit more on balance and cover the front knee. Whatever you'd like to work on. Good. Keep rolling that left hip down, right hip back wherever you are. Two more breaths. Exhale, fold. Good, as you inhale, slowly extend that back leg back. Good, as you exhale, start to walk yourself all the way toward the long end of your mat. Good, widen those feet till you feel your edge of stretch. Feet are parallel. Take an inhale, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, pause in that halfway position, send your heels away from one another, and then imagine dragging them to the back of your mat. And then keep that engagement as you lengthen your chest to the feet. So keep those legs nice and active, an active end range motion stretch. Heels are pulling away, dragging back, kneecaps lift, top of the head lengthens the foot. Exhale, fold. Good, as you inhale, lift and lengthen. As you exhale, bend into the knees, take those blocks with you back to the top of your back. Good, find that low lunge, pop, take an inhale. As you exhale, step it back, downward facing. Good, press down into those heels. Imagine drawing the heels apart and heels back. Lift up through the low belly and get the chest closer to your thigh. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg reaches to the side. Exhale, hold it there. Look back, all five toes point down. Can you lift a bit higher? Rest into the hands. Big inhale. Exhale, draw the toes. Step it forward. Back heel is going to step in and maybe out toward the side of your mat a little bit so both legs can straighten. Inhale, legs and forward. 
Good. As you exhale, that right hip likes to hang out back here. Drop forward toward your left heel. Press down into the blocks and lengthen toward you. Maybe start to draw those breath toes back. Nice long inner thigh, back of the hamstrings, calf stretch here. And sometimes our right hip likes to keep sneaking back, drawing right hip forward. Exhale. Good. As you inhale, plant the toes with their up. Exhale, bend into the front knee as you lean forward. Bring the blocks forward, hands forward. Stand on that left leg on your inhale. Good. Exhale, lift that right leg nice and high. Use those hamstrings. Imagine you're pushing on the wall behind you. You're lengthening forward and then either warrior three or find that hamstring check fold over the front leg. Keep lifting the back leg. But keep rolling that right hip down toward the ground. Don't let it lift. One more full in. Exhale. Inhale, hands to blocks. Exhale, step that back leg down. But turn yourself toward the long end of your mat. Good. Lengthen out parallel those feet. Find action in those legs. Push through the outer edges of your feet. Lengthen the chest forward. Take a big inhale. And then exhale through. And maybe those hands reach toward the back of your mat, toward the direction you're looking. As you press down into the heels, pull the heels back, let the head lengthen more toward the floor. Couple more deep breaths. Keep the legs nice and active. Find that end range of stretch. Exhale fully. And as you inhale, lift and lengthen. As you exhale, bend into the knees, walk yourself back to the top. Pause there in that little leg. And as you exhale, step it back. Again, you have options to stand down your dog to take child's pose or roll through the vinyasa with me. Inhale, roll your foot up or flex. Exhale, lower your toes. Hands stay by the side as you inhale, bend roll baby cobra. Lower, tuck the toes, take an inhale. Exhale, press back knees through child pose. Take a full inhale there. Exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lift the hips down, we're facing up. Nice full inhale. As you exhale, press into the heels, draw the heels apart, draw the heels back. Good, turn on those outer hips. We're going to start to go into those adductors, your inner thighs. So see what that feels like. Imagine dragging your heels toward one another. Those are your adductors, your inner thighs. A little bit of hamstring going on there. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift the chest and forward. As you exhale, step the right foot outside your right hand. Blocks might be needed to lift your chest to step the left foot outside your back. Good. We're going to go into Malasana. So if Malasana doesn't work for you with your knees, you can sit on a block. Start to slowly lower those hips. Coming down. Good. Pause here for a couple minutes. Rock you a little bit. Press elbows out, but squeeze knees in. So you're activating those adductors. Adductors are those inner groins. You bring your legs toward one another. Everybody that feels the need to do an arm balance here, that's perfect. You have a chance to do a pill pose of the asana if you would like. If not, enjoy the stretch. Can you lift the chest higher? Can you roll the shoulders back and then press those knees into elbows? Take one more big inhale. Excellent. You inhale, slowly start to straighten those legs. Exhale, parallel the feet and forward. Back the a little bit. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, step that left foot back. Let that left heel come down. And then take that right hand to the inside of your left, right leg. You're going to touch your right elbow into your inner knee. And then go nice and low. 
So you're still stretching this, so you're pushing out and pushing in. Yes. Maybe top arm can reach, maybe hand comes in and back, maybe goes overhead. So you have many options for your top arm. Or you can just breathe and focus on that bottom leg. Take another inhale. As you inhale, take that top hand to the block, square the hips by that low lunge. As you exhale, step the left foot wide. We're going to come back to that malasana, slowly lower your hips. Once you've lowered your hips and you found your malasana, turn on your knee and lift and hover your knee. Squeezing in, pressing out. Feel my inner thighs from this morning. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift your right hip. As you exhale, step that right foot back. Left foot stays forward. Drop that left, that right heel to the ground. Hands are to come on the inside of the leg. Press elbow into knee, knee into elbow. And you can come on your hip. Maybe go over, up, behind. We're really focusing on that bottom leg. Pressing knee in, but pressing elbow out. Finding that abdomen. Inhale, top arm. Exhale, step the hip back down. As you inhale, square the hips. Exhale, step that right foot nice and wide. Then find that malasana again. We're going to add on just a little bit and add in a little bit of core here for this next one. But still working the legs. Exhale. Good. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, straighten those legs. Inhale, lift and lengthen. As you exhale, left foot steps back. Left heel comes down. Take that right hand to the inside. Take the left arm to your hip. Maybe that left hand comes behind you, finds your low back. And then maybe that bottom arm starts to hover toward the direction you're looking. Yes, like you're holding a plate of strawberries to your neighbor, but they can't see them because your back's to them. So you're just going to keep them yourself. Or you can take that arm and give their strawberries to me. Bring them forward toward me. Ah, oh, you're so nice. Thank you. Take an inhale. Exhale, hand down. Good. Inhale, top arm up. Exhale, circles top down. Square those hips, pause, and take an inhale. Exhale, step it wide. Find the last one. Full inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, straighten those legs. Exhale, find that forward fold. Pull the heels apart, send the heels back. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, steps that right foot back. Right heel down. Good. Finding yourself on that inner thigh. Taking that top arm up to the sky. Maybe it finds your low back. Good. Turn on the legs, keeping those legs alive. Maybe that bottom hand starts to float to the direction you're looking. Switch your hands. There. And then maybe that hand floats up toward you. The legs nice and active, big inhale. Exhale, bottom hand down. Inhale, top arm up. Exhale, circle back. Pivot toward the ball of the foot. Take an inhale. As you exhale, step that foot wide. Good. Find Malasana. Nice full inhale here. Exhale. Find one more full inhale. And as you exhale, plant the hands, lift the hips. Nice little forward bend. And then plant the hands, step it back, downward facing dog. Then you have the option here in downward dog. You can stay in downward dog and go to child's pose or throw flow through that vinyasa. Inhale forward. Exhale lower. Inhale, shoulders back. Exhale down, tuck the toes as you inhale. Exhale, child pose. And take a full inhale. 
exhale. Good, as you inhale, shift forward, point the toes, find child's pose and relax into it. Kind of check in with this child's pose compared to the previous one. Exhale, stay here. Once you inhale, shift the way forward. Exhale to those hands and knees. From here, we're going to come into pigeon pose. If you know pigeon pose on your belly does not work for you, you have many other options. You can do it on your back. You can do the 90 90 sit. So if you can do this pose with me, you're going to take your right knee toward your right hand. Take that foot, angle it at an angle, and then start to walk that back hip back. Stay up on your hands to begin with. So you're gonna roll that left hip toward your front foot. Roll the shoulders back, keep the back toe up. And imagine drawing your knees toward one another. So find some energy in those inner legs. And then maybe hands go to you. Maybe hands come to foot. Maybe arms to reach. Good, press in down. So a little bit of strength, and we'll get some stretch on top. Another full inhale. And as you exhale, hands down. Back toes still tucked. Straighten the back leg. Send your hips back. And then lengthen forward. Come just to the elbows. Press your top of your foot into the floor. Press your shin into the floor on both legs. Find a little bit of deeper stretch here by pressing down. And then continue to either keep that active stretch or let everything go heavy and soft and relax into the earth. Your choice. I know I like the active sensation better, but some people find the passive. It's relaxing the muscles a little bit nicer. Three more breaths here. Now we're getting into those external rotators, your outer hips. Exhale. As you inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, walk those hands back underneath the shoulders. Roll toward your right side and bring that left leg all the way forward. So you're coming all the way forward with that left leg. Then you're going to take that left leg and stack it on top of the right knee. If that's possible, if this is just too painful and both your knees are kind of up here, take your left shin, stack it in front of your right shin. Yeah. And then forward. It's called log pose. For some people, it works very well. Other people, it does not. I need to stack my shirt, or put my shins in front of my knee. Two more breaths here. Feel that nice little outer hip stretch there. Add on just a little bit. Lift the chest. Lift the knees ever so slightly. If you have your left knee on top of your right, you're just going to hug just that right one, or just the left one, sorry. Um, if you have both ankles on the ground, hug both of them, right? So if you're stacking here, you're just going to lift, but then you're pressing down. You're leaning forward. You're going to feel this beautiful stretch back there. If you have both, it's a nice stretch on both sides. So you're going to lift up, press down with those knees, and then lean forward. It's like quickly behind the Everybody that has one knee, lower that knee. Yes. So your chest is awesome. Take another inhale. Yep. Toward the direction your knees go. Yep. Exhale there. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold again. Relax that out. Yes. 
Just let yourself round in the upper back a little bit. Let that go. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, all the way back up to center. And because it feels good, twist to your right side. Right hand behind you, roll the shoulders back. Lift the chest. center. Taking that right arm out to your sides, climb opposite of you. So you're going toward the wall. Lean it out, take that top arm, reach it up, and then lean it over. Maybe that bottom elbow comes to a block, maybe it comes to the floor, and then send your left hip away from your left armpit. And if it feels good, top bend the top elbow, find a little hammock for your head, and lean that head down as you lift the elbow, finding a deeper stretch. Two more. Exhale, fully really here. Top arm reaches on your inhale. As you exhale, press yourself back up. Good. Roll yourself forward onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, press back down, we're facing up. Good. Your choice, pause here. Maybe you do a vinyasa, maybe you're very happy in downward dog. Maybe you'd rather go to child pose. Your choice, your practice. Three more breaths here. And we'll go to the second side. Two more breaths. And exhale, pose. As you inhale, that left knee is gonna come to your left. Then extend that right leg back, tuck the toes, and then press down into those legs. Find a little bit of action there. So finding some balance, that right hip's rolling toward that left heel, and then maybe hand starts to come in. Maybe arms be good. If you find that little core strength there, keep pulling in, lift it up. Good, one more big inhale here. As you inhale, hands come forward. As you exhale, straighten the back leg. And then inhale, send the hips back. And then exhale, come forward. Good. Keep that right hip rolling forward. Press down into the top of the back foot. Press down into the front shin. Press down into the floor. Good. Take a couple breaths there of that active engagement. And then either stay with the active engagement or relax everything. Let yourself go heavy toward the ground, letting gravity take over. Another full inhale. Yeah. Good. As you inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands underneath the shoulders as you roll to your left side. Bring that right leg all the way over and see if that right leg will stack on top of the left. This side's a little nicer for me. So flex to the feet, or if that doesn't work, right chin in front of left. Good. And then if it's comfortable, pull forward. It might not feel comfortable. Mm. For those people that are stacking, make sure you're actually stacking rather than doing this with your ankle. See if you can actually get that ankle bone on top of your knee. There you go. You'll definitely feel it. <laughs> probably won't have as much range of motion, but that's okay. We'll work with that. Exhale fully here. So if you have both ankles on the ground, both knees are gonna hug up. If you have one, you're gonna just take your opposite arm, hug that in, but resist it down. And then send your chest forward. Yes. 
Saba, switch your pants. Speak your language, switch your pants. There you go. Yeah. Does it feel different? Exhale. Good. As you inhale, come back up. And then as you exhale, release it back forward. I sometimes even like to take that leg off and then like this board, it's just a nicer stretch for me. Good, let everything go, just round the spine, forward, forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, all the way back up. Good, and then twist to the left. Left hand's behind you, sit up tall. Find some rotation. You can leverage on that front leg, leverage on the ground behind you. And then back to center. Taking that left hand out to your hands toward the tree. Take that top arm right up to the sky and lean over toward that tree. Good. Breathing, pressing, sending those ribs to the side. Maybe that top hand bends and finds the back of the head. Maybe the side of the head. And let that head be heavy, lifting the elbow higher. Two more breaths here. Exhale, fold. Top arm's going to reach on your inhale. Exhale, press yourself all the way up. Good. Roll yourself forward. Find downward dog, do a vinyasa, find child's pose, whatever's going to feel best to you. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rolls you forward. Come to those hands and knees again. Sit all the way down. Right onto the booty. Taking those legs out in front. So we're gonna get into those abductors, those inner thighs. Um, we're gonna start off with squeezing them in and then we're gonna go with pressing them away. So take your right leg closest to the tree, cross it over your left. So you can get those knees to stack. So your heels back by your hips. And then I usually like to press into my hands and kind of slide my hips forward a little bit. It just kind of snuggles me in. And now squeeze your inner thighs together. You want to squeeze them in together, press into that front heel, and then lean forward. So you're actively pulling those inner thighs together, you're strengthening them. You might feel this stretch forward anywhere along the way. There's many places to feel it. It could be your calf, your hamstring, your hips, your inner groin pushing. Exhale fully. Inhale, lift and lengthen. One more time, side stretch, exhale, bring that right arm out to the side. So same leg that's up, goes out to the side, so toward the wall, and then arm goes over. Yep, nice. Yep, toward the wall, your bent knee. And then inhale, brings you up. Good, exhale, hug that knee up, switch it over. Taking that opposite leg. Let's see where it happens. And even if it happens way out here, you can still do the intention of squeezing those inner thighs together. So inner thighs squeeze together, press down into that front heel, and then lengthen forward. So squeezing, pressing, lengthening, breathing. Two more breaths here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. As you exhale, same hand that the knee is bent, bring it to the side. Top arm reaches, lean it over, find that side stretch. You might be able to go a little bit deeper because you have a little bit more length in the hands or in the hip because that opposite leg is extended. Exhale, fold there. Press in that bottom hand. Inhale, brings you up. Exhale, take that leg out. Give it a little shake for a moment. 
and then soles of the feet come together. Good, press down into those hands, lift the hips, slide the hips as close as it's comfortable to you. And then press your hands down, press your feet down, press your knees down, using your muscles. Good, roll the shoulders back. Kind of lengthening all that we just squeezed in that previous pose. And then keep pressing feet together, keep pressing knees down, start to lengthen forward any little bit. Good, hands can stay behind you or maybe your elbows assist pressing those elbows, those knees down as you lengthen the chest forward. You have options of where you'd like to go here. Three more breaths here. Exhale forward. But as you inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale back to center, helping those knees up. And then you're going to make your way onto your back. Bring your block. Right. <laughs> All the way down onto your back. Take that block, slide that block underneath your sink from your bony part of your hips. If you have two of the skinny blocks, stack the blocks face to face, so that you have a little bit more support there, so it's not so skinny on your low back. And then draw the shoulder blades under, turn the palms up, pause here. So this is a little restorative position, a little heart opener, a little bit of lengthener of those front hips. We lengthened our hips, the front part compartment of our hips, a lot at the beginning of practice, but then we've been kind of having them in flexion, so tightening them. So this is just an opportunity to lengthen them again. If it feels comfortable in your body, maybe you start to straighten one leg at a time so that block is underneath you. Just kind of feeling a little extra stretch in that front hip. As you do that, engage your booty, your glutes, so that you're protecting your low back here. You're not just dumping into your low back. Just notice how that feels. You can do one at a time, you can do zero at a time. Just stay here about five more breaths. One leg at a time, make sure you switch to do both legs. Exhale for But as you inhale, bend those knees if they're not already. Exhale, lift the hips, slide the block out from all the way down onto the back. Pause there. And then taking that right leg up to the sky, push through the heel, grab onto the back of the thigh. And just imagine you're taking that femur bone and dropping it down into your socket, into that hip socket. And while you're here, maybe make some other ankle circles or pointed flexion in the foot. Kind of take inventory over the body. Notice if you need any other posture after we're done with this on both sides. Notice if there's any area that has been left unstretched in your hips. And then slowly bend that right knee, place the foot on the ground, pick up the left leg up to the side. Holding onto the back of the leg, resist arm and leg. And then imagine that long femur bone, that long bone of your leg just dropping back down into the hip socket. Top of that hip, dropping into its socket, resetting the hip joint. You can use it in many ways today. Maybe some ankle circles if you have it already. Flexing. Exhale, fully here. But as you inhale, bend this right left knee. 
Exhale, foot to floor. Pause here for a moment. Just kind of check in, see how the body's feeling. Maybe do some windshield wipers. Maybe do a twist. Maybe happy baby. Maybe you're happy for us or So doing whatever's going to feel best in your body right now. Take a few breaths there. And then start to settle into relaxation. few more moments to kind of check in, bring some awareness into your body, allowing yourself to make the decision of what position you're going to do. And taking whatever position for restoration is going to be best for you. That could be reclined, seated, on your side, on your belly. And once you get there, take a nice little inhale. And a nice full exhale. Allowing yourself to just surrender here into relaxation. Allowing your body and mind to become still. Trying to stay present. Allowing yourself to be here in this space on your mat, in your body. I'll bring you out of Shavasana with three bows. Press.
allowing your next breath to come in a little deeper. Next breath, bring some movement into the fingers, the toes, the wrists, and ankles. Next breath, reach your arms back behind your head, slide your feet together, give yourself a long stretch. Maybe lean a little bit from side to side. And then slowly bend the knees, your choice. Maybe find some windshield wiper legs, maybe hug those knees into the chest. Again, whatever's going to feel best to you at this moment. When you're ready, use your arm as a pillow, roll over to one side and take a moment there, check in mentally, physically, acknowledging those shifts in the practice today. And then when you're ready, mindfully pressing yourself up so you can get your head to be the last thing to rise. Pressing into that top hand, extend the top leg. Bring yourself up. Once you've arrived at that seat, allow your hands to either rest at your heart center and belly, at your heart center or in your lap. Allow yourself to be in this space on your mat and in your body. Connecting again with that intention and allowing the strength, the energy, and the breath of this practice help you with that intention as you transition off your mat into your evening. Seal our practicing with an ohm or a sigh of breath. Exhale, fully Inhale. Oh. Bowing your head slightly. Take a moment. Think of one thing in your life you truly are grateful for. And then hold on to that image in your mind's eye as you raise your head with a smile. Thank you for being here. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you.